Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Milligan. I'm here with Joy Moeller, Certified Oral Facial Myologist from Pacific Palisades, California. Joy, thanks so much for being with us. Oh, thanks for putting this up on the web. It's exciting. Oh, it's a wonderful thing we have here. We're here at the Aesthetics Meeting in Bonita Springs, Florida. If you haven't been to an Aesthetics Meeting or joined that group, it's a fabulous group. You, you learn so much here from the speakers and from networking. People like Joy speaking here. And this is, a, this is such an important, this is a real treat for you, it's such an important thing that we're talking about here, kind of new to dentistry, but I think it's going to be huge in, in dentistry. So t tell us a little bit about this. Well, what it is, it's a type of therapy dealing with the facial muscles, swallowing, chewing, and breathing. And we deal with people that have noxious habits, such as thumb sucking, nail biting, hair chewing, any kind of habit like that, yeah. lip biting or cheek biting. Uh, mostly with the tongue rest position, we mm -hmm. reposition the tongue to go yeah. up and back instead of down and forward. Okay. We help the patient to get control of the movement of the tongue, placement of the tongue. We develop a lip seal where we get the lips together right. at rest. Right. And we, we work in conjunction with sleep medicine or dentistry, speech pathology, um, people with temporal mandibular joint dysfunction when it's a muscular problem. Right. We can make a huge difference. We try to develop a symmetry with patients. Even orthodontics, if you don't get the muscles doing the right things first, you could have relapse or certainly more difficult to do the orthodontics. Right. Oftentimes, I think when you get the muscles right and the tongue right, uh, the teeth start to self-correct. I'd say probably more than half my referrals come from orthodontists. Yeah. Once they get used to working with an oral myologist, they don't want to practice any other way. Right. Because it really helps them to eliminate the negative patterning of muscles that is one of the causes of orthodontic problems to begin with. Right. If your tongue is resting down and forward all day and you try to put wires on and try to get the teeth lined up, uh, the, it, the bite is just going to open. And some orthodontists have put a lot of really neat little appliances in there and I actually refer a lot of patients for these appliances okay. to help them. Uh, but sometimes if you don't look at the way the muscle patterning is, is interacting with what the bones and the teeth are sure. doing, then what will happen is maybe then you'll develop a lateral tongue thrust or a, a unilateral, it could be bilateral, because if they're trying to hold the tongue yeah. back with an appliance, then the sides will come out. Okay. So what we do is deal with the cause of the problem. The, the root you know, problem. The root problem. Now, uh, and this is something that you can incorporate in your dental practice. We'll talk about that in a minute. But Joy, how did you get involved with this? Well, actually, the story is that my whole family was affected, actually. My yeah, husband right. had been in a water ski accident and uh, actually broke his two front teeth and, and he had terrible headaches and TMD problems. Right. And then my, my youngest son had severe problems with headaches and he was colicky when he was a baby and it went into ADHD. And from that, he went into headaches and temporal mandibular joint problems at age seven. I had taken him all the way to the Mayo Clinic even for right. some kind of diagnosis and treatment other than drugs. And, and uh, you know, I tried nutritional counseling and vision therapy. And, I mean, we tried everything to help his headaches. And finally, they sent us to a neurologist. Right. And the neurologist recommended... I see a neurosurgeon, which I, I took him to see a neurosurgeon, and they wanted to do brain surgery. On and her he, son. He was yeah. only seven years old. Right. Yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh. And so at the time, I was a dental hygienist working in a dental office, and 
the dentist I worked for said, let me take a look at him before you do any brain surgery. And he, he said, I just took a class in myofunctional therapy. Wow. And he said, he's not swallowing right. And so he gave me some exercises to do with him at home uh -huh. to get his tongue in the right place. And then he also made him a little splint to okay. wear. And uh, we worked with an osteopath too, a cranial osteopath. Okay. And within three weeks, right. his headaches were gone. Oh and it was like a miracle. What a, what a touching story. And never to come back. His, all of his yeah. ADHD issues, he could focus. Yeah. Also, what happened within three months, his teeth started straightening out. He had this little narrow bite and everything uh -huh. started moving. So I thought, well, I have to learn more about this, and I studied everything I could. This was in the late 70s, so it's a long time. It was over 30 years ago. Right. And uh, I've been practicing and teaching courses in it ever since. And um, it's very exciting, and I personally had issues myself because I used to sleep on one side, and I had a crossbite and also a deviated septum. So I had those, I had jaw surgery, orthodontic surgery. Uh -huh. And so I know what all that is like, going right. through all that between my husband and my youngest son and myself. And yourself, right. You know, it's been my life's work. Right. And the reason, the last three years, I decided, well, I'm not getting any younger, and I want to get this information out Fantastic. to the dental profession in this country so right. that they can be, first of all, aware that it, this therapy exists yes. and that it works and that they can build this into their dental practice to have another service available for their patients. And most of the patients I see, the first thing they tell me after they've had braces three or four times, jaw surgery, headaches, acid reflex, posture problems, surgery after surgery after surgery. I had a woman uh, last week, a new patient, who had four back surgeries for scoliosis. Yeah. And you see, your head weighs as much as a bowling ball, and your tongue weighs three ounces. Mm -hmm. So if your tongue is resting down and forward, it's just enough to pull your whole spine out of alignment. Wow. And this poor woman had been through so many problems, sleep apnea and orthodontics again and again and again. And I just thought, this has got to stop. The first thing they always ask is, why didn't anybody tell me about this sure. sooner? Sure, yeah. And so for this to be part of every dental office, as it is, by the way, in Japan right now, every dental office is doing myofunctional therapy. It's taught in the schools. Dental hygienists do it. And they also teach it in the grade schools to children to make sure that they're all swallowing and chewing correctly. And in South America, it's... South America is... I just got back from Brazil. Right. And uh, you'll see in my slides, if you stay for the lecture, the Brazilians, I mean, they, they think that, you know, this is just their standard of care. That's right. their standard of care, and they... They treat all patients before they do any speech therapy. They say 70 to 90 percent of speech problems will disappear with myofunctional therapy. And they also talk about how they incorporate it into the cosmetic surgeon's office. The oral myologists there are all PhDs and they go right into surgery with the, with the um, plastic surgeons. And they also can specialize in orthodontics. And they wouldn't think of putting braces on without doing the functional work first. Now, what about the United States? This is incredible, the opportunity that we as dentists have to bring this uh, to Absolutely. our communities. Absolutely. The, there's a certification. Yeah, what, the, what you do is you, uh, you can go to the IAOM website, which is the International Association of Oral Facial Myology. And there are, I think, five or six different courses being taught uh -huh. in this. And it's closed now. We used to be able to train physical therapists and nurses, but they've now eliminated that field. And they say you have to have 
training in the mouth. Like a hygienist is acceptable as long as she's licensed, right? Or a, or a dentist, or a speech pathologist that has a master's degree can go through this. Right. But the hygienist only needs an associate's degree and a license to practice. And, um, and then you take the four-day class, right. and then there'll be a certification test that it's an open book test, and you have six months to take the test. Okay. And it's, it's hard. It's a lot of writing, but uh -huh. you have to look up a lot of research and you know really know the terminology, what you're doing. And then after that, they come in, they uh, observe you for one day. But after the four-day class, you, you have to start working right away. Right. So you get enough information in the four-day class to start working. And if you want to get certified, which I think in the future it'll be a grandfathered in profession because they will have a, a program in a university very soon. They're working on it. Now, right how now. many of these certified people do we have in the United States? It's unbelievable. 158 right now. Right, 158. So you have the opportunity to really bring this to your community. Oh, and your patients will love it because it's a green treatment. It's dealing with the cause of so many problems. You bet. Now, and it costs you very little to get set up with this for this service. Oh, yeah. And what are we talking about to well, go through the, this? Well, the study? courses are somewhere between two and three thousand dollars, depending on where in the country you go. Yeah. And then you know, you if you have a camera, a digital, a good digital camera is good, or a video. Video is really good because. What we like to do is get a baseline on the patient yeah. and so that they can see the change and hear the change in their speech. It's really amazing. And then um, also you need some minor equipment, but yeah. it's very, very minor. I'd say 500 to $1,000. Right. So, so for about $4,000 or so, you, you're, you're set, you're ready, set to go. ready to go and, and, and provide this phenomenal service for your patients. Absolutely. It's just not being done out there. Yeah, I, well, I did a TV show. I'm trying to, before I, I wrote a couple books, before I actually launch, uh, and I've taken some media courses, bef and I have a publicist, before I launch any more public stuff, I want to get enough people trained uh -huh. to do this. So this year and next year, I'm really beefing up all of our courses. Right, and you give these courses around the country? Yeah, around the country. We'll okay. be in New York in October, and in November we'll be in uh, Henderson, Nevada, okay. and then in uh, California in December. And I think there's one class in Cincinnati next year, and uh -huh. the rest are all in California. Okay, all right, and so how do we get in touch with you, Joy? Uh, well, you can, if, you, if you're interested in taking a class, you can contact Barbara Green. She's one of my colleagues at 805-452-4302. And if you want to get in touch with me, my email is joylea, J-O-Y-L-E-A, molar, M-O-E-L-L-E-R, at AOL.com. And it's kind of funny, people make fun of me because my name is Joy Moeller and I'm a hygienist. Oh boy. From, originally from Flossmoor, Illinois. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's really funny. That is pretty funny. So, but, uh, but not a funny subject we're talking about. It's no, a, it's, it's a, a very life serious. life changing subject. Well, but, with, but, especially but, with the sleep, I'm, I'm right. presently working with UCLA in their sleep. Uh, dentistry mini uh -huh. residency program, and the amount, and there is new research out now showing that you will reduce the AHI number by 39 percent in mild to moderate sleep apnea with mouth wow. exercises. Wow! Yeah, and also there are two important studies, but actually three important studies I can go over. That was uh, down in San Paulo. Brazil, that study came out and it was published in the American Journal of uh, Respiratory um, Problems. Okay. And also another study came out of Brazil showing that by extracting bicuspids, you are 
actually causing problems with orthodontic relapse okay. uh, with the muscles okay. not working right. Right, right. And then uh, the third study that was published this May in the, uh, orth the biggest orthodontic journal in, the, in, in America okay. uh, showing that the amount of relapse with um, open bites with myofunctional therapy versus non, not with myofunctional therapy was significantly, statistically significant. I think it was three millimeters difference, which is really big. So since May of this year, the orthodontists are really in favor yeah. of myofunctional therapy. And I think every orthodontist should have a myofunctional therapist or any general dentist who's doing any sleep uh, or Invisalign or, or um, any type of temporal mandibular joint problem, they definitely should get their hygienist trained and offer this as an adjunct to their dental practice. It's covered under medical insurance. I think Aetna pays like 80%. Wow. You know? Why not? Yeah, Why absolutely. not do it? You know, Absolutely. why not do it? There's absolutely no reason, especially with the way our economy is going now, you know, where people will pay for this out of pocket because they see a value and they will tell their friends. So it's a good marketing thing for a dental office. You can get a lot of new patients sure. from it. You bet. You bet. Yeah. Well, this is a win, win, win. And just get in touch with Joy. Uh, it, Fabulous service for those patients and, yeah. and good for the practice as yeah, well. Yeah, and you can read my articles. I've written 10 articles in the last three years, a couple in Dental Town and high, the RDH and a couple of ortho journals and Dental Tribune and Ortho Tribune. So well, fantastic. Uh, more to come. <laughs> thank you, Joy. Let's get, get in touch with Joy and move forward with this in your practice. Joy. Thank you so much. Thank for you being very with us. much. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Great.